So what I'll do is I'll show you the difference between a 100 pound vertical tank and a 100 pound frame mounted horizontal tank and show you what the uh, improvements are and the benefits of doing one versus the other. Put the jack on. Make sure the truck doesn't move around. Welcome to Food Truck Builders. Uh, we've actually started our next build. This truck is going to be built for northeast of the border. It is a Mexican style truck, of course, uh, where they specialize in tacos. So this is a Grumman Olsen. Uh, most people normally talk about as a workhorse P42. Same size truck for the most part, about 26 foot. In the back end of the cavity, we've actually already removed the mud flaps and the exhaust uh, pipe in the back so that way we can redirect it to allow the space for the four foot, 100 pound horizontal tanks installed. Part shard of metal fell on my face. The great part about these tanks that I love more than anything else is the fact is you do have your on off shut off valve but the great part is that you have the fill valve that's separate from the on off valve so this way here you're not disconnecting your system from the tank losing gas and letting air into your line so that's a huge benefit to the frame mounted horizontal tanks that it has an indicator right in the front to show you how much gas is inside the tank and the cost of making a steel structure to bolt uh, to the body of the truck and then diamond plate to cover the tank uh, these tanks are always a win-win because they're going to be cheaper to install. They are extremely efficient, very quiet. Uh, a typical choice of food truck builders who want uh, to have a bulletproof type product. Uh, the tough part always is the cost. These run about 5000 a pop. For the generator, this truck will have two of these uh, 30 amp 220 volt generators installed propane tank we installed the uh, Onan generator we use the Onan uh, frame mounts we just made a, a few of the small aluminum pieces just to keep the uh, body real nice and sturdy well after we cut the hole put the mount in we just basically went back and uh, cut the rest of the, the body plate to kind of fit draw out the rivets this way here when we have to put stuff back in we can replace them with rivets and they look factory. You've used the bucking bar on one side of the rivet and the air hammer on the other side and basically you just rivet them together. <laughs> Essentially they're going to have one cook here and one cook here. And they'll have two ticket printers, two service windows that are both taking orders. So their ticket time should be like less than three minutes, as well as their production time should be huge because they should be able to produce well over two to three hundred meals per lunch. This truck is we installed uh, 12 volt lighting and 110 lighting. So the 12 volt lighting that's here is actually on four corners of the truck. This will allow them to be able to just flip on the 12 volt lights and have you know, fully illuminated truck, uh, early mornings and late evenings without running the generator. So up in the front area here, we're gonna have the load center. This will allow them to control both their uh, generators as well as all of the functions in the back of the truck from lights, water pumps, things of that nature. We'll install it over the left hand side of the load center. On the right side is the switch. The switch is gonna have uh, the ability to balance 10, 20 amp circuits between their two owning commercial generators so they could literally run one side of the truck on one generator or both sides on one generator or one side on one half or vice versa. Space is still an issue when you have two full cook lines so what we did was we ripped out the regular seat and we built the water tank um, right here in the cabin to not only double as the tank but we put a metal structure around it so that way they could also have space for two seats instead of just one water street fill station with a lock key down below we put in two sets of seat belts so this way here we meet the dot requirement a on-demand uh, propane water heater uh, built by mari uh, they're great units uh, one thing i love about this unit it's got a nice lcd right in the front so it tells you what the temperature of the water is runs on two d batteries and of course 
it's fed with propane to heat the, the water itself, but very energy efficient. Um, and also heats up very, very quickly. Uh, so up over here, the control panel, we installed a 110 outlet that will also provide power to the Bose um, receiving unit, but also the 4G Sprint wireless router. Uh, this will provide not only uh, network access to the printers, but also allow them to run credit cards over the internet. So you got the two owning generator control units. Not only tells you the hours, but also allows you to start the generators right from here. You have all of your work switches. So this allows you to you know, turn on the water pump, allows you to turn on your work lights, allows you to turn on your awning lights, with your outside lights, and then your fans that are up in the ceiling. This was built as a high production, high volume truck uh, with two cooks, two expediters, and two people taking orders um, on the busier days. Uh, what you have in front of you is a uh, 14 foot hood. All the way to the left over there is a uh, cool tech 24 inch countertop, um, reach in refrigerator. You've got a used Vulcan uh, fry later, 15 inch fry later. You have a 36 inch cool tech uh, chef base, um, one inch uh, stone griddle, this little uh, 36 inch griddle. A two spot uh, propane um, steam table. And one thing I did like was that because um, it swivels back and forth, you've got a nice long hose, you can reach both areas, both fry laters. You can fill up the thing, you can fill up a stock pot, and wash the other fry later. So it allows a great uh, resource as far as uh, being on a food truck. So it's a great feature. Um, a two burner, and another one inch stone. Uh, flat top that's been converted from natural gas to propane. A 48 inch chef base underneath this unit because to accommodate the extra 12 inches for the uh, two burner. We've got another used Vulcan fry later. Uh, either end under, on top of the under counter unit will have uh, a warmer for their fried avocados. Uh, they did spend a few extra money by putting in an upgraded uh, sound system. They put Bose speakers inside and outside both for the employees and the guests. Uh, great things from uh, San Jamar, which is like your um, plastic glove dispenser. You've got your paper towel holder, soap dispenser, uh, employee wash, hand wash sink. Um, two deli units, one of either unit, either end. Again, 24 inch, nice uh, refrigeration area underneath. They're all built by Cool Tech in Brooklyn, New York. Um, nice deli unit up top. Um, essentially what will happen is that the heart of the bones of course in most food trucks is the electrical system uh, they have a load center and a uh, ProTran 10 uh, circuit switch uh, so this way here all of the plugs are on their own dedicated 20 amp circuit all the refrigeration especially um, there is one or two circuits that share things like the lights of the POS system you know the beverage uh, cooler things like that but for the most part everything's all on its own separate 20 amp. We did wire this truck with CAT6. We started installing things like the printers that work with the POS system. So this way here, uh, when they take the order here, the tickets will come right up in front of uh, the uh, cooks. Another great feature about this uh, northeast of the border truck is that this is a marquee style door. So we'll flip up a second time. Uh, but more importantly, they designed this. So that way this will be their express takeout pickup window. So essentially if people order online, they better basically come to this direct window, pick up their to-go food, and uh, avoid waiting in the regular uh, food truck line. So we put three vents along uh, the uh, prep side of the truck, uh, of course to hopefully you know, create some airflow. When they open these vents up, turn the fans on, let, let air in, and of course the exhaust fan will pull it out. So hopefully, you know, generate some fresh air through the truck and uh, attempt to keep it a little bit cooler. Over here you have your drink unit. It's a Vantico drink unit. We'll keep the um, the water that they're going to sell uh, chilled to 33 degrees. It's flavored water. Basically we'll install a wall on either side of it and then have a location for the uh, cup and lid dispensers. So this way here will make a nice quick step. Uh, underneath that of course is your triple sink. Every food truck is required to have one. Um, essentially you're going to have your scrape board, your wash, your rinse, your sanitize, and then your drain board on the right side. Um, and then lastly, of course, is your second you know, POS system. Um, this will allow six people to work this truck, uh, all in individual stations. So as it comes together, 
Um, last few things that are is of course connecting all the uh, CAT6, uh, testing uh, the POS and the uh, receipt printers, and then finishing up a few uh, things with the fixtures.